Even if there was or is a method to all this madness, it is irrelevant now. The ancient and rusty cog of obsolescence that we push and grind every single day towards the cold and breathless inevitability that lies waiting to consume all our essence into oblivion. And even if there is a control, a master that actuates the universe, it is long gone. And if we were to ever discover it in some obscure corner or dimension, it would swat us away like a mosquito, forcing us to flutter off and drink our own blood. You see, all that is left is the arrogance, our arrogance, our arrogance of time and space. There is only the wicked ruse of a golden carrot being dragged slowly away, always just ahead of our grasp. This is love, and love is the pillar we worship in relentless agony, passing this insufferable disease onto all of our children, infecting them with purpose and posture. Love is the junk that DNA is made of. It is the final beauty, the last breath of a dying God. No matter what purpose or posture you are able to extract from this place, from this existence, please remember, it is relevant to no cause but your own. Even science, that bitter, insensitive little bitch, that fucking whore science, God, I love her. I do, I really do love science. Even science, has revealed to us the infinite possibilities beyond our grasp that do all but extinguish the human agenda. We must change. We must change our course now. I will give you a little hint as to a more appropriate direction to proceed. You see, there is no such thing as liberty and justice for all. That is an oxymoron. Don't you get it? It was a fool's game from the very beginning. Any good virtue that outsiders perceive of me is just an act. For inside, I am nothing but an animal. I am a monster that only wants to eat everything. I want to consume all that I see. I want to kill and devour anything and everything that gets in my way. But alas, I am a good dog, I am a well-behaved boy, and I am a polite and decent human being.